How's it going, everybody? I know that I'm not streaming right now. This is uh, when I announced in chat that I'm uh, in my Discord that I'm not going to stream today. Um, but this upcoming fight is just too good to ignore. Um, we are currently being paid on a three skull mission. This is going to be the last mission I do before saving. And uh, I mean, if it doesn't work out, then whatever. We're out of food. We've got a company of 15 people. Let me show you the battle line. We have got three people with nets. This guy is about to actually get a melee weapon. Um, this is literally everything we've got. Um, we're actually going to add him to the front battle line. Um, we've got um, a hooked blade, a pitchfork, two war forks, flankers, and two ranged. And we are about to be pushing into a three skull bandit camp. We've got a decent little battle line. We've got two people, Frithanov and Walter, both with the militia practice and spear wall combo. And the people here are going to be super, super capable at uh, being able to hold this front. We've got decent people with dodge um, capabilities here and decent damage output just in general. So. That's how we're going to go this, with this. I'm going to primarily be not commentating because I don't really want to talk. That's why I'm not really streaming. But I figured I should just give you an overlay on this. Uh, additionally, this unknown garrison is a lie. It's many bri brigand thugs, a brigand poacher, and some brigand raiders. So this is going to be a super interesting fight. Let's see how this goes. The primary objective for the people down in the south is going to be getting onto this mainland. This guy right here is pretty dangerous, so I netted him, and I want to just essentially swarm him and kill him before he has a chance. Being netted gives him some severe defense debuffs, but no offense debuffs, so keep that in mind. I'm going to hold a lot of these people's turns if we just try to cycle everyone up.
essentially creating a death concave. Woltar here is creating a spear wall on the northeastern side to dissuade people from attacking, and we're trying to encourage them to come into this concave to try and just essentially tear them to shreds. The backliner is going to be doing most of the damage whilst these guys are holding up the defensive line. We're going to be recovering everyone who walks through swamps if they have recovered. A decent number of these guys do. And uh, this is the first true trial by fire. We're gonna, we're gonna end this guy's turn because the intent is I still want them to fill this concave.
We're waiting for this guy who's currently retreating to uh, leave, so that we can move through this way as opposed to through the water. Avoiding the water at all costs is super important. reason we're doing this down here, despite what I really just said, is I want to lock this guy and this guy into melee combat so they don't harass my archer. This archer needs to be continuously damaging these guys over here, or at least threatening them. So him having to waste time paying attention to the guys down here isn't great. Since this man's turn is already done, you're going to be holding turn until we can get this guy, Torsten, to see if he can cast a net on the Brigand Raider. That will lower his defenses and will allow us to more easily attack. Until then, everything, everyone who's going to be attacking him is going to just hold their turn.
I also have this thing called object permanence. I know that there's enemies back here. I don't see them, but I know they're there. bringing this guy over to get a net on the last brigand raider. It's actually sheer serendipity that all the brigand raiders were, there was only three and we had three nets. So, yeah. Oh. 
order of operations, everybody. I forgot to. Like I need to do was a huge fuck up on my part. Just moving this guy here. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. So here's why I'm looking in the marsh. One, two, three. No, wait, nope, four. It's all of them. Alright, never mind. I'm staying corrected. I thought there was another one further over here. He might have run. Smart kid.
no mercy. No mercy at all. And this, my friends, are the new group we're going to be fighting with today. We're going to be using for the next little while. Just got to finish up this fight, and we will be good to go. This is this is your introduction to them. They've been running for about two weeks, doing fairly well for themselves. This contract is a three skull difficulty, and is going to provide them with one thousand three hundred gold. <laughs> Which is well worth it. What's any loot that they find? Run the loot. No mercy. Hang on, I could have popped me. I wish you were down here though. Oh, this guy down here is just gonna try and catch up with. Cut him off. Same with this guy. only right that he gets the kill there. Not a whole lot here left to do other than get this guy killed. <laughs> Not a whole lot left to do. So we're going to be ending most of these people's turns. The other one we're not is going to be these two over here. So, just an FYI. Most of these people we're just ending the turns of. We got a shot here. Oh, not anymore. I'll have him get a little closer then. No reason to not. And he's even coming closer, even better. Go get him, puppy. Yeah, keep him down. Good dogs. Good dogs. He's in melee range. Good stab. And the damn shot. And for the kill. Excellent. We only lose one person, actually, which is quite impressive. Um, this guy ended up with pierced arm muscles and lost an ear, but that's not too big. This guy got brain damage, plus 15% resolve. And same for him, so we got two resolved people, which is actually pretty damn good. Things considered. We get all this. Not bad. Not bad. Food. Armor. Tradable items and 1,310 gold. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this in. And, uh, yeah. Welcome to the People's Army, my friends. It's pretty cool, man. These guys will be played after the current group that we are uh, playing with dies. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you had fun. See you.